Uh, we'll start with Coastal Carolina and Appalachian State. A very, very good Sun Belt game to get us going Wednesday night. We've got Coastal Carolina, three and a half, four point road favorites, 59 and a half the total uh, in this game. Uh, App State certainly in their first chance to kind of, I guess you could say, step up in class or a little bit in the conference last week. They failed miserably. Uh, a very bad game for them against UL. Uh, Louisiana last week, the Ragin' Cajuns, 41-13. to 13. Really, that wasn't even close. It exactly. was a complete and utter, yeah, exactly, Connor, a complete and utter domination by the Cajuns. I mean, 244 yards they outgained uh, App State. And not just that, but a 2.8 yards per play margin advantage for, uh, for the Cajuns in that game as well. So uh, it was an awful game for App State. Really shocking to see the defense get carved up because – you know, it's been a solid defense at times this year. It was not last week, and it didn't matter what, you know, the Cajuns did, whether it was Le uh, Levi Lewis and 209 passing yards or the uh, combination of Montrell Johnson, Chris Smith, and Imani Bailey, the three-headed running back trio for the Cajuns running for over 200 yards combined. They were able to throw it with success. They were able to run it with success uh, against App State. And that's trouble here a little bit here against this Coastal Carolina team. You talk about how good Grayson McCall has been leading this offense, and you talk about how well-balanced they are. 261 rush yards per game, 6.7 per carry. App State's run defense, overall for the year, the numbers aren't bad. But boy, they really got carved up on the ground last week by Louisiana. And if Louisiana's running for combined 200 yards against you, what could this Coastal run offense do against you and you know jamie chadwell that's what it is it's a run first type of rpo offense and that's trouble i think for app state and look you're going to look at app state's underdog track record and be impressed seven and one against the spread their last eight is an underdog but guess what the one ats loss was last year head to head against coastal carolina they were dogs in that game coastal one coastal covered bottom line is connor mack I'm not ready to step in front of Coastal. They're that good. Uh, at this number, it would only be the road favorite or nothing for me. What do you think here, C-Mac? I agree. I think this is Coastal as well. I mean, other than the game at Buffalo, uh, they've covered everything. And I think they've looked better. I think the defense has looked a little bit better. They gave up some late points, a few touchdowns to Arkansas State in that second half, uh, October 7th. Appalachian State, though, they looked horrible. Bryce was – I mean, I, she kind of was old Bryce from, from Duke. Bad Chase um, Bryce, bad decisions, interceptions. Yep, last week. Yeah, definitely. One thing, though, is if App State doesn't get blown out, they let's say they win that game. And Coastal isn't winning as big the last three weeks. This might be a pick em. Um, Or right around there. Maybe Coastal's, a, you know, I don't know, think they're three and a half. Um, so, yeah, now you got the hook here. But I lean Coastal Carolina. I'd only be on them. Um, and I lean a little bit to the over. I think App, App State can be able to score a bit. So I know it's at 59 and a half right now, right around there. I think you got to look a little bit over And Yeah, I'm with you. Coastal, the one thing, their one true road game has been Buffalo. And they won by three. They didn't cover. Uh, well, the, sorry, they did go to Ar Arkansas State. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm uh, reading the schedule wrong. But two different teams there. Um, it won't be easy, but it's Coastal Carolina here. Yeah, uh, the over makes sense, too. Again, we'll see what the weather's like closer to Wednesday night, but 59 and a half being the total. And we've seen uh, App State now, you know, 41 allowed to uh, the Cajuns. They did give up 30 uh, against uh, Marshall uh, a few weeks ago. Um, yeah. Miami, they gave up 25, like really against teams that have had some better offenses the last few. They, they've been a little susceptible on that defensive side of the football. We think of them as a good defensive team, but you know they're going to get tested here by uh, Coastal. And again, last year, these two teams met. It was 34-23 uh, for Coastal, 11-point uh, uh, victory uh, against uh, App State. So I don't know if things are going to change that much. I think Coastal is every bit as good this year uh, as they were uh, last year. And look, they're undefeated. And this is a night primetime game. You know, Coastal's going to be fired up for this game. Not that they App should. State will yeah. as well, but Coastal's undefeated. You know, they've got visions of maybe a New Year's Six Bowl game if they can keep this up and run the table uh, this year. So uh, this is definitely one of those spots where not only do they want to win, and obvi obviously that's the case, but if they can create some separation here in the margin of victory, they're more than happy to do that here uh, against App State. So we'll see how this game plays out Wednesday night for sure.